Welcome back to my next YouTube video. In this one, we'll be discussing nutrition. So this is a big part of the prep. As you know, I'm running the London Marathon in April. I'm covering all things nutrition, training, absolutely everything so you can track my progress over time. In this video, I'll be literally doing the most simple, easy, convenient high protein recipes. We'll be doing four different recipes. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know I'm all about convenience. It's all about speed so we can spend as little time in the kitchen and all our time outside training doing fun stuff. I'm currently in Marbella at the moment, so I just went to the shop quickly. Don't know exactly what I've bought, but we're gonna put together four very simple recipes that we can eat pretty much for the whole day. I haven't eaten yet. Uh, I normally fast in the morning, so I bulk out my meals for the rest of the day. So I maintain pretty lean physique all year round because of this. I save all my calories for later in the day, but one thing that I have to do is have a decent protein hit with every single meal. The first recipe that we're doing is an egg recipe. So an egg breakfast bagel, super easy. I whip this up all the time. Eggs are super versatile. You can use them in absolutely anything. And of course, get you that protein and fat hit. For your first meal, when you break your fast, I find I'm more productive, have higher energy levels when I focus on, oh shit, this egg is broken. When I focus on fats and protein and save my carbs for later in the day. So I fast until about now, which is, it's two o'clock, it's quite late. And then I have eggs, um, which is good, high protein, high fats. Then later in the day, I'll have carbs, like oats or something like that. So this one is a breakfast bagel. I'll show you how to make it. Right, so we've just found out that the apartment does not have any olive oils and I didn't buy any, I thought we had some. So do not copy this at home. This could end catastrophically. Right, okay, so. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna place the pesto in the pan and then we'll place the eggs on top and hopefully it won't stick to the pan, but we'll see. Right, after a slight technicality difficulty, we're back in the room, we figured out how to work the hob and this can be our olive oil. A bit of pesto on the pan, put that in the middle. The, pa the pan's not hot enough yet, but it will be. We're gonna crack two eggs over the top. One, and a dos. Hopefully, this one should be all right. This one's now just gone AWOL. Two bagels in the toaster. Bang, easy, five minutes, two minutes, whatever you want. We'll get rid of all that shite. Pretend I didn't do that. Slice some tomato. He's not the best slicer I've ever seen, but it's efficient. Just don't chop your finger off. We've now got our bagel, Bosch. Right, next we're gonna get the guac, picante, muy spicy, very spicy guac. So basically, you could make your own, but this is just much easier and more spreadable. Some nice healthy fats in there. It's gonna keep you full for hours. Then we're gonna put the two tomatoes on here. Got some spicy chimichurri as well. We'll put that on top. All right, we'll go some black pepper. Black pepper on there. All right, then we're gonna get one of these bad boys, the pesto egg on there, wow. Considering I had no oil, that's not actually that bad. Then we get the parsley for the final garnish and then the chimichurri on top for the hot spice. And that, oh my days, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. But look at that. For a, for a brekkie, what more do you want? Okay, now we get a bowl. Wow. There is, that's pretty good. That's all, awesome, actually. Right, this is recipe number one. High protein, pesto, egg, bagel, and avocado. Beautiful. That's pretty good. 10, 10. A seven on taste, pretty good. Okay, right, the next one is gonna be a massive authentic spanish pepper you're going to get the biggest one you can find slice it down the middle and then take out all of this and try not cut yourself take out the middle bits like we've done here so they're completely empty we're going to whack some filling in but before we do so we would drizzle it with some olive oil or some kind of seasoning however kind of limited in this kitchen so i'm going to just put this in the oven five minutes soften it a little bit then we're going to add in our protein in the middle right we're just going to put this in here 200 eggs, yeah, 200 eggs. Probably should preheat, but haven't. 
we're going to utilize the same pan where the eggs and pesto were, hence why it's still the remains on there. Chuck in some 5% lean beef mince and then cook this through. Bang. Seasoning with some salt, bang, and pepper. Woo! Gonna put a bit of this hot sauce, chimichurri, any hot sauce you have, just so it's got a bit of color. Right, then we've got some grated five quesos, five cheese in one. That's gonna go over the top of the beef. To just stir it in, get it a little bit creamy before we put it in the peppers. These are now out the oven, slightly softened. And then we put the protein beef mixture into the center. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna top off with some more cheese on top so it melts and then place back in the oven for like 10, 15 minutes just so it melts on top. Go back in here and then we put that in for like 10 minutes or so. Come around here, young one. Served up like a bounce. Right, these are served up. Perfect spicy beef, cheesy peppers, whatever you want to call them. Tastes amazing, easy 40 grams of protein, take around 10, 15 minutes to make. As I said, we want to spend as little time as possible in the kitchen to get the best results so we can spend all our time training, enjoying ourselves and still eat good. The peppers are nice and soft. The beef is beautiful, high protein. 10 out of 10. Good taste, creativity, nine out of 10. Best one so far. The next one is kind of like a breakfast meal as well, or you could have it in the evening. Um, I like to have it in the evening because it's quite carb heavy, however, still high protein. It is a banana bowl slash oats slash protein, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to start with two bananas. Actually, we'll just go one banana. Two is quite a lot. We basically just smash, slice it all in there like that, and then get a fork and just squish it down. Right, so you squish the banana, so it's kind of like this. And then we're gonna crack one egg in there as well. Boom. And then whisk that in. Kind of looks a bit grim right now. Right, then we get some oats and we effectively use this as the flour kind of for this banana cake thing. And then we mix all of that together. So yeah, it would be better if we obviously probably blended the oats so it was thinner. It would cook much faster. A tablespoon of peanut butter. Boom. That's tick. Very, very tick. So we keep stirring that. Yes, that's what we like to see. Then we put it in the microwave for two minutes on the highest heat possible. Then we take it out. Look at that. Beautiful. Final product is a scoop of whey protein. Does this even have a scooper? So we go a little bit of protein powder, a tiny bit of, uh, of almond milk. Protein powder, almond milk. Right, then we've got some protein powder, almond milk, and it turns into a bloody thick cake. It's like, it's super thick. Then we go back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Then we take it out, it's fully cooked through. We add some Greek yogurt. If you can get the Faye one, the better. It's literally just pure protein. We put some a massive, Bit of Greek yogurt there. Two of these bad boys. Put some seeds for all the amigas and vitamins, etc. Oh. And then we finish some berries. And we chuck a load of blueberries and some raspberries in there as well. And then that 
So again, super easy, super convenient. High protein, like probably got 30, 40, maybe even 40 grams of protein in there. Little taste test. They've got the chocolate, the banana, peanut butter, yogurt, berries. Creativity, four out of 10. Actually, five out of 10. Taste. Six out of 10, not bad, you can't go wrong. Right, the last recipe, so this was the third. Next one is eggs again, and I've realized I've used eggs three out of the four recipes, but I love eggs, they're high protein, they're easy. We still don't have oil, and this is kind of essential for this recipe, so definitely use oil or some kind of spray. I'm just praying the non-stick works well. So what you wanna do is get four eggs, four whole eggs, and we'll whisk them. Eggs in here, Ravan, oh, on the side, three, more shell, and four, hopefully no shell. Uh, oh, there seems to be shell inside. Whisk, whisk these bad boys. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but essentially we've got no oil. So we put this on here. It could easily just stick, but we will see. We then get a soft, beautiful, Spanish bread, and we place that jabang like this to cook all around. Right, so you want this kind of utensil. Do you know what? It's actually doing all right. You want like an omelet, fry some baby tommies, and then also some feta into little cubes. Definitely don't enter me into Celebrity MasterChef. Right, and then we come back over here. Then we're gonna add in our tommies in the center some feta in the center there. So it's like a little cheese and tomato explosion. Our pepper. Crush that in there. And then we flip. Oh no. This is where it goes hideously wrong. But that's not too bad, you know? And then we cut off the sides. We have our egg and breakfast. We finish it with some coriander. Not sure what's going on here, but it's a little breakfast sandwich, egg sandwich. You obviously use a knife and fork. Again, easy, 25 grams of protein, some feta, tomato, egg sandwich thing, soak it up, and then you can eat the hat on the side afterwards. So yeah, that's the four recipes. The idea is that we don't want to spend a lot of time, but we still want that variety, have loads of different recipes. Still enjoy the diet, but make amazing results at the same time. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see my full marathon prep, see the nutritional breakdown, all the workouts, and see you in the next video.